All right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel. We've got Daniel in the chair today. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, thank you. You good? Yeah. Awesome, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm um, What are we doing today? What's the plan? Uh, well, I've been growing my hair a little bit longer than I normally have hair. So, okay. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. It's all right. Uh, I was kind of thinking about a bro flow. Oh, type right. Of style. So, a bit longer. Okay. I've got some pictures of the type of thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know whether it will work because my hair isn't the thickest on okay. top. So. Okay. I'd be guided by you as to whether it would work or not. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's have a little look. It's so, so about style, just some examples. Yeah, yeah, it's, okay. Um, okay. Probably a little bit longer than I would have it, but maybe something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, like this one, a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he's got a good record. Is that, oh, I oh, can see yeah. if I can come back and look like Chris Hemsworth. Then oh, yeah, I'm well. sure my wife would probably That's, say exactly the same, yeah. Um, yeah. Like that. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, you know, um, I have to be, you know, reasonably smart because I work in an office environment when I am in an office. So. Right, okay, okay. Now, the the bro flow, as it's been termed, I don't know who called it that. It's great, it's a great, uh, it's a great word, or well, words. Um, but the only thing with, with that, with this kind of look, is that it's, it, it's very hard to make it look tidy, okay? Just because there's so much length throughout the hair. Um, especially when you've got curly hair like you have at the back. It's kind of like deemed untidy in society, I suppose, of what we're used to as, as, as guys going to the barbers, getting a nice tidy haircut, you know, and then walking into the office. I think it's, it's very hard to make it look tidy. The thing you have to do to make it look tidy is trim the sideburns. They're the one thing you do, and you can cut it to just before the ear. Right. Take the neckline up a little bit, but it's about what you wear dress-wise, okay? So a suit, for example. You almost have to go a little bit smarter. So if you look at all them pictures there of the guys who were in like with the longer hair, they've all got suits on. Mm. And that's what makes it look smart. The haircut, if you put a t-shirt on it, it would probably look more, more messy. Mm. So I think it's about how you look in terms of what you're wearing over the haircut in, in general. Right. That's what I would say. Because um, it's hard to make it look tidy. There's no way of making it look tidy unless you're gonna, like, even if you blow dry it, it's so, it's such a hard thing to kind of do yourself, mm. especially the back when with the curls and things, it's very hard to do. Um, it's not it's not the easiest hairstyle to have, if I'm honest. It, it does take a bit of effort. Um, but if you're up for the effort, then it's perfect. You know what I mean? If you, if you if you how have you found it so far? Like, what have you have you struggled with it or a little bit? Because I'm not, um, I kind of haven't been sure how to ask the barbers to cut it. So I kind of said okay. Back, and I was thinking you know leave it a little bit longer over here, and because it, it gets thicker on the sides and the back. Yeah. Um, more so than here. Yeah. So um, okay. that's where it kind of needs evening out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be honest, mo most people's are. It generally is thicker on the back and sides. It's generally because you don't lose your hair on the sides and the back. So if you were to have a hair transplant, for example, this is called the donor area through here because you never really lose it. So it generally is thicker. Um, that's the problem when you're having this kind of style is that it needs, realistically needs to be the same thickness all over. Otherwise, it's very hard to try and create the flow. You know what I mean? Um, because through here, it is, it is still quite short through this bit and it's actually longer towards the bottom mm. and then you've got that kind of like bit longer through here so I, it, it's gonna it, i think you are still a bit of a work in progress i'm not gonna lie i think to get something like that but i think it's gonna be there's gonna be a few things that we need to kind of get our heads around right is first of all what your idea of tidy and smart is because we need to know what that is um, and whether you're going to be able to cope with having that hair on the sides that you might not feel as though it's smart enough because it's very hard for me to, to make it look smart otherwise, right. if I'm honest. Um, it doesn't have to look, you know, totally smart, but it's got to be kind of presentable. Present I think the, the other thing for me is, I don't spend ages, you know, using yeah. foam hair as such, you know, I don't blow dry or anything, it's yeah. just towel dry and maybe a bit of stuff and that's about it. Okay, so. okay. Yeah, we can work with that. Um, the only thing is though, every single image you've shown me there is of a model or an Instagram influencer who probably spends quite a lot of time on how the hair looks. Yeah. So with that in mind, would you recommend something else? Um, think, thinking, about, thinking about what you say reasonably presentable, what, what does that mean to you? What's reasonably presentable? Uh, well, I think the things which I, I actually made a list of things which I wouldn't want ever to look like. Okay. Um, it's always good to know what you don't want. I, I wouldn't want a mullet. Yeah. I wouldn't want to look like somebody from White Snake. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. You know, big, yeah, yeah, I know. I know White Snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Puffy, puffy, kind of blown up. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't want to look like um, I've got like a comb over. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
and I wouldn't want like a top knot or a, a man bun. A man bun, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm kind of in your hands as to what you think might. Yes. Okay. Quite a few things you've got to take into account. Um, all right. Can I, can I tell you what I think you'd suit? Just looking at it straight away. Yeah, sure. I think if we were to, now hopefully you can picture this, right? Because I've got, I can picture it now. So when we talk about the, the flow of the hair, right? We talk about seeing movements coming through the sides. That's what we, that's what the flow is, right? It's that, well, it's what my interpretation of the flow is, right? Because the hair flows through into the, from the sides into the back, right? Mm. What about if we were to maybe take the very bottom a bit shorter through here? And more than having all this kind of flicky out bit through here, it's sat a little bit close to the ear and a little bit closer on the neck. And then mainly the flow is through this bit here, more than into these curls at the bottom. So I think that's where I'm thinking of the presentable right. element. Um, I mean, I do a lot of clients who are in like corporate jobs and things like that. And I know, I know what you mean, like presentable needs to be kind of tidy looking. And I understand, like, I get it. Mm. It's just that people have a different opinion on what that is and all a different understanding of what that is. So I, I think because of the top being thinner, all this hair is making the top look thinner. And I think if we were to get rid of some of this through the bottom here, it just sat a little bit fuller in the neckline. It sat a little bit closer to the ear. Mm. I could actually balance out the top to the sides much better that way. And I think it would be a good compromise between having the flow, but also still having like length within the hair and also it being presentable. Yeah. I think that'd be the best thing to do. And also if we, with the top, a little trick, because of when the hair starts getting a bit finer through here, a little bit of styling powder and brush your hair back, it helps to cover any thinner bits as uh -huh. well. Now, I don't. I think at the minute it is very 80s, isn't it? You know, the way the, well, the roundness is what it is now. Yeah, I drove down with my, uh, uh, my mini convertible. Oh, okay, from yeah. So, oh, wow. So, so natural, so natural lift and volume. What's happened, yeah. Nice. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay. Well, but the thing is, it can look like that. So as long as we can get away with it not looking like that. Yeah. I know obviously wind and stuff doesn't help, yeah. but if you were to have it just coming slightly off, I don't want, I don't want you to have a comb over. I hate doing anything like that mm. because it doesn't look good. No, it, everybody uh, knows. Yeah. That's the reality. So you're, not trying to hide it. you're not trying to hide anything. If anything, I want to try and, that's what I'm saying. If we can take these bits in here and, and reduce the bulk of the back and sides, it won't, the top shouldn't be as apparent. Okay. I'm hoping. And then obviously it just comes down to a bit of styling, just a little trickery of the styling as well. Um, but I just think that would be a better look for you. I think we can still keep length in the sides, but with a more presentable finish. And I think that, I don't know, I just feel like that's what you'd suit more okay. personally. Um, but again, it's open, it's open for interpretation that. So whether you want to put more length in it, if you want to keep more length in the sides, keep more, take the back a little bit shorter, it's up to you. But that's, that's my professional eye seeing, looking at you now. No, no, no that's fine. Yeah, let's do it. Do you want to do it? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool, cool. Perfect. All right, well, let's get you gowned up and then uh, we'll get you started. Okay. All right? Yeah, Brilliant. Thanks, Daniel. Right. So we have wet down Daniel's hair and I'm going to start by creating a horseshoe section in this as well. So again, I'm sure anyone who watches regularly must get bored of me <laughs> if you say that, but uh, it just helps for anyone who, who hasn't and, and, you know, if any new, new person watching, it's just to help separate the top to the back and sides. That's, that's what we use it for. It's just, a, it's just a really, really good, uh, a good starting point for me. I've used it for years, I really enjoy it. And it just helps to create a balanced haircut. That's why I like to do it. So what we're looking to do for Daniel today is create that kind of flow on the sides and the top, create balance so it all, it all works, but also just give him what, 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 we, what we both kind of have the same understanding, I think, of what presentable looks like. So I showed, I showed Daniel a video of, of an earlier, an earlier client we did. Um, and that was the kind of idea I was going for. So just kind of took off the ears, still length on the, on the neck, but just so it just sits a bit smarter. That's the kind of idea that I was, that I was trying to look for. Um, it's very hard to explain sometimes if you don't really, you can't, if, if you're, if you're a client and you can't picture it, it's very hard to, uh, to try and as a barber, get the person to understand where you're going with it. So that's why photos and videos and things like that work so, so well. Um, Cause it just gives you a bit of an insight into your own mind and where you're going with it. And like for me, again, we done a, we done a haircut earlier um, and I use David Beckham as a reference. Now I'm sure, I think nearly every guy in the world has probably used David Beckham once for, the, for a reference of a haircut, but it was just, it was more about the, the texture of, the, of, of, the, of um, Marcus's hair is why I want to use that reference and also a length that I was thinking he could go down to. And that's one of the reasons why I used photographs 
But it's something that it's very hard to explain or for someone to see um, sometimes of, of what you're actually thinking. Um, so yeah, I think that's why that's why I love photos and videos and stuff. It works an absolute treat. So, let me check them out. Yeah, it's perfectly even both sides. Awesome. So, what we want to do, essentially, is leave as much length through the top as we can, up here. Maybe not all of that, but en enough that we can still get that nice flow. I want to break out, break down the sort of thickness within this, the back and sides of the hair, because I want the hair to flow better. And by doing that, by, by creating that kind of um, palm to palm wide sections, it just takes the middle section shorter and leaves the two sections either side longer. And by being a bit shorter in the middle, it just helps to break down the hair and kind of make, help it kind of flow a bit better, hence what we're trying to achieve. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna try and bring it on this angle, okay? Now, if you look at Daniel's face shape, we, it's very, very flat on the sides. So we need to build that up a little bit, I think, to create this sort of look. So I think we need to start building up weight, okay? To make that really work. So. Let's take a section that is three fingers in width, okay? I'm going to bring everything into the middle. So can you see I'm bringing this bit into the middle? I'm over directing from here and from here as well. And as you can see, the angle gets shorter towards the bottom. So we leave more length at the top and take more length off at the bottom. Take a little section from the previous section we've just cut, I'm going to use that as our guide, bring everything into the middle, make sure that's straight on, there we go, and you can see bring it into the middle, pull it away, there's a guide I'm looking for, fingers nice and straight, not much off the top, taking more off as we get to the bottom, towards the ear. I want to flow that better and then we can just take off around the ears, working into the last section, like so, make sure we don't take anything from the horseshoe, There we go. So as you can see, I'm going to start getting shorter as we get down to the nape. This is allowing us to do is maintain a lot of length, just remove the kind of bulk, shall we say, just to allow that hair to flow better. There we go. Not much off the top, you see. Angles on my fingers, head slightly down for me as well, buddy. Thank you. There we go. So you can see. How the neck is starting to fall now, compared to the other side. Very curly. But look how much shorter it is there. But we haven't lost, see? We haven't lost the length up here. We've lost the length down here. But why, why, as we bring that through again, don't forget, what did Daniel say at the start? He doesn't like to spend too much time on his hair. Look that, where that falls back in nicely, see? All that thickness is gone. It's moving nicely. It's setting into the neck. That's what we're looking for, really. So imagine that works nicely now with a bit of water. Imagine what it would do if I had a little bit of maybe, I don't know, a bit of grooming cream. Back to California, that'd be a good one. That's an easy one for you to use, Daniel, as well, you know, as a product. Put it in when the towel dried, perfect product for that. So, you know, if you do want to make that bit more of an effort when it comes to your hair, just a nice uh, nice grooming cream, towel dried hair, and then just style it and leave it, leave it to dry. Again, it, there are products that can work with that as well. So not everyone needs to blow dry their hair. So you're not much coming off the top. As we get down to the bottom, that's where the length starts to come off. So, so far we are removing the length in the right areas, okay? The areas to make this haircut look more presentable. 
much more tidier, but still having the element of that flow sitting in there as well. There we go. Final section through here, and we'll bring that into the middle. There we go. So, leaving the length down the bottom here like we have been, I'm getting shorter through here and even more length, so it kind of comes up like that. That's what we're looking to do. Now, we need to work across the perimeter, because that's the thing we want to really take in. Okay, so what we'll do is press it down again so I can section it a bit easier. And we'll start on the right hand side again. I always tend to start on the side that, or, or start again on the side that I started at the very beginning. It just keeps, it keeps it in kind of, it keeps us flowing, it keeps the rhythm of what we're trying to achieve, which is what you want. Pull that down, and I pick the length that I want. So just right there. Same again, nice and straight. Straight across like that. As we bring that back, it sits on the ear. We'll wear this around the ear now as well, like so. And then we work it into the neck. So we just follow the perimeter, follow the hairline. Just follow the hairline. Let that just sit nice and full. So as that gets pushed around the ear, it looks nice and tidy. Let me shorten the sideburns, tidy it up. And there we go, a bit more tidy. So we're sitting on the neckline, head down for me, buddy. Right in. Fingers pressed against the neckline. Again, we're looking to still keep some length down there, but make it nice and tidy. So we follow basically above the collar. Now, especially with Daniel's hair at the bottom, because it is quite, quite curly, a little bit wispy, I don't want to point cut or anything like that at all on this. I want to keep it nice and blunt because it will create its own sort of shape because of the curl. So if I was to point cut into this, it could look even more frayed, which we don't want really want. We want it to look, we need to look smart, okay? Top of the ear. And we just follow the hairline around. There you go. Now through the back, we use the trimmer just to get rid of that neck here. So I'm going to pull it away and just start to remove all this, this curly hair here. That will sit a lot smarter, a lot flatter as well. Like so. Now I'm just going to work up through this neckline here as well, I'm just working up horizontally. I just want to 
cut in the bottom there. Don't want to leave too big a gap in terms of sections. I want that to fall nicely. I'm just working that out horizontally. There we go. Now the top. So we need to do is balance this topping. Now that seems to be like a word that I use an awful lot, but that's kind of the the, the style of the cut we're doing. It's all, it is about balance. It's um it's about making sure that everything kind of works in tandem with it with every section that you're doing, every every sort of movement that we're trying to achieve. I think anything top heavy wouldn't always work for Daniel. I think for the, the style we're going for and the thickness difference on the top to the sides and the back wouldn't work if it wasn't balanced. I think too much length on the top wouldn't work for him. So I think just finding that right length that, that kind of works well together. And that's basically what, uh, what I'm trying to do. So just try and find that perfect balance for him. So I'm gonna pull this out, I'm gonna pull it out straight. And I'm gonna work to that section at the top there. So I've got my guide underneath. So that is sitting within the sides now. See, like that. Another section. Now, as you can see from that previous cut, it was quite short at the, on the corners here. So now we've just kind of got that right, that right um, length to work with the sides. As you can see, I'm not taking anything off, so it's, but it's falling into the section. The fringe might take some of it might go off the fringe, but that's about it really. Just off center, like so. There we go, that all balances. Just sounds a little bit asymmetric compared to the other sides. You see, there's quite a lot of length coming off this one. Now, this could be a moment where you think, oh no. What have I done wrong? Why, is it, why was the length come off the off this side, but there wasn't length come off the other side? Previous haircut, it's not you. It's clearly the other haircut that you that you we're doing now was slightly longer on one side to the other. That's all it was. Doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. Doesn't mean you've picked up the wrong section or you've made too big of a uh, too too wide of a section or that you you're at the wrong angle. Doesn't matter at all. Because look, the top's the same. A little bit come off there. So don't worry, as long as you're following the same guide within that you've put in, you can't go wrong. Pick it up and we'll have a nice, should have a nice peak. There we go, slight one. So let's take that down a touch. Only a little bit. Oh, there we go, let's get along with that. Now through this back bit, I'm going to cut it vertically. Now, I'm going to cut this fringe in a touch. See where it's been a bit thinned out towards the ends there. I want to strengthen that up for Daniel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dry your hair with a diffuser, okay? With a little bit of grooming cream in it. The reason being a diffuser will basically give you the, the strongest towel dried finish you can get by using a hairdryer. Okay, so the only way I can make your hair look like it will do if it was towel dried and dried out in the sunshine or whatever is by using a diffuser. Okay, so I'm gonna pop a little bit of grooming cream in just so you can see what it would look like. And this is, this is how it would kind of finish if you were just to let it dry naturally. That's why I'm trying to do it so you can see exactly what it's like. But that's, I know you can't see your glasses, but I'll show you in a second, all right? This is a grooming cream. Now this is just for, I, I, well, I love using this one. This is like a really good base, especially for anything like this. Cause it's got a little bit of hold in it, but it's got a, a lot of like, really good ingredients for the hair too. So it's good if you're trying to maintain a bit of length in the hair too. So you work this through, the hair like so. And then what you'd normally do now is you just leave it to towel dry. Okay, you just leave it. And then as it's dried, you run your fingers through it and that's where you'll get that flow. Okay, but I'm gonna show you it sped up a little bit, okay? So.
hair's barely moving. It's only the top bit where it's a little bit finer, it's moving, but if you look, it's barely moving. So I'm not, I'm not trying to like, I'm not doing something that can't be recreated at home, if you know what I mean. This is not, not like kind of doing anything magical that you, it's not gonna look the same. What I'm doing is drying your hair, basically. That's all I'm doing. I'm just running my fingers through it just to show off that movement sitting through there. That bush. There we go. And finally, our fingers. Right, let me just tidy up your neck here and I'll, I'll pass you your glasses, okay? And I want you to tell me what you think because hopefully I've nailed it <laughs> and it's exactly what you were hoping for um, and I'll explain in detail why I've, I've done what I've done. All right. Big reveal, Big reveal yes. Tonight, Matthew. <laughs> there we go, into that yeah. There we go, All right. Do you want to pop them on for me and see what you think? So, you've still got flow in the head but you've got a much tidier finish around the edges. So before all the curls, are probably talk about that much off the back, really, quite a bit, quite a bit off the back. Mm. And now you've got the flow, but the tidiness to it as well. Do you see what I mean? So we've tried to keep length in it for you, just without it being untidy, yeah, if you know what I mean. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And hopefully that balance as well, where now the top is longer, and it's kind of sitting in a bit better on the sides. It isn't like, it, it isn't kind of coming on like a triangle effect now. It's a bit sitting a lot more square. I think you can see that by the shape on top as well. But I think it looks really nice. Yeah, it's great. Happier? Yeah. Happy. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Very kind. Thank you very much, mate. How often do you think it kind of needs looking after that trimming? Um, you get a bit longer out of this, these kind of styles, to be honest. You probably get maybe a cut, maybe about eight to ten weeks, probably, maybe even longer. Right. Yeah, it, dep it, it just depends on how long you can sort of right. go, really. Um, I guess some clients come back every like three months, something like that. It's kind of an average length. Um, it just depends when you find it start. It starts getting hard to manage. That's really all it is. But yeah, you should get quite a bit of time out of it. Okay, perfect. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome.